Good morning students. Welcome back to Geography Online class. I am Subha. Today we can learn the rest of the lesson. Geography lesson 4. Hydrosphere. Before that, we can recall the lesson. Already we have learned about the hydrosphere, isn't it? What is hydrosphere? What is about the hydrological cycle? Uh, fresh water, uh, oceans and what are the major uh, features of the ocean. Then what are the major features of the oceans? They are the continental shelf, continental slope, continental rings, deep sea plains and axial plain, oceanic deep and oceanic frigid. So today we can learn about this movement of the ocean water. Under this heading also there are three subheadings. Uh, it explains about waves tides and ocean current about this only we are going to learn today in detail first one is movement of the ocean water you all know this ocean isn't it what do you know about this ocean water the ocean water is dynamic always it will move isn't it it won't be rest so the ocean water is dynamic. Do you know why this ocean water is dynamic? Due to temperature, salinity, density, external forces of the sun, moon and the wind. These things only keep the ocean water in movement. Both horizontally and vertically. Once again why this ocean water is in movement is in dynamic Dynamic means <coughs> movement because of the temperature, salinity, density, external forces of the sun, moon and the wind keep the ocean water in movement. How it will move means both horizontally and vertically. So waves and currents are in horizontal motion while tides move in vertical motion. First one waves. What do you know about waves? Of all the movement of the ocean, sea waves are considered to be the strongest. Sea waves are ripples and water caused when wind blows over the sea. The height of these sea waves depends on the speed of wind, its durations and the direction from which they blow. Sometimes waves are also caused by tremors felt on the ocean floor. Such waves are quite destructive and called tsunami. So waves, it is the strongest one and also the height of these waves also depends on the speed. That is on question also. Roman number 4, question number 5, write a brief note on sea waves. Write a brief note on sea waves. What do you know about the sea waves? All the movement of the ocean sea waves are considered to be the strongest. Sea waves are ripples on water caused when wind blows over the sea. The height of these waves depends on the speed of wind. How this height of the waves depend? It is uh, depend on the speed of wind, its duration and the direction from which they blow. So how we can calculate the height of the waves? It depends on the speed of the wind, its duration. Duration means time and the direction from which they blow. Sometimes waves are also caused by tremors felt on the ocean floor also. So such waves are called as tsunami. It will be very dangerous for the human being also. Okay. Next one, the energy of the falling wave water is used to turn hydro turbine to generate power. That's waves also what we can generate power also generated. So this was mostly seen in Kerala and Andaman and Nicobar Island. So wave, wave energy power plant have been installed at Bilinyam. Where is that Bilinyam? It is in Kerala coast and Andaman and Nicobar Island of India. Next one is the tides. What do you know about this tide? Tide are of two types, spring tides and neap neap tides. Tides are of two types. What are the two types of tides? 
spring tides and neap tides. So the periodic rise and fall of sea water due to the gravitational pull of the sun and moon on earth are called tides. What is called a tide? The gravitational pull of sun and moon on earth are called tides. So these are classified into two types. What are the two types of tides? Spring tides and neap tides. Okay. Next one. When the sun, moon and earth are aligned in the same line, the gravitational pull of the sun and moon on earth's water strengthen to form a high tide known as spring tide. Such tides always occur on full moon and new moon days. So during full moon and new moon day, what type of tides also occur? That is the spring tide. Okay students, how this spring, uh, spring tides has occurred means, when these three uh, sun, moon and earth comes in the same line, what will occur? Spring tide will occur. Such tide always occur on full moon and new moon day. In Tamil we say Muru um, Ninav. Okay. Next one. From this picture we can understand about these types of tides. What are the two types of tides? Spring tide and neap tide. Okay. So when this spring tide will occur? During full moon or new moon. When this neap tide will occur? The first quarter of the moon or third quarter of the moon only this neap tide will occur. When the sun and the moon are at a right angles, their gravitational forces work against each other, causing a low tide called neap tide. A neap tide occurs between two spring tides that is twice a month. When the first and the last quarter of the moon appear. So there is another one question also, Roman number 6, question number 1, how, uh, what do you mean by the, uh, sorry, uh, distinguish between spring tide and neap tide, distinguish between spring tide and neap tide, what do you know about the spring tide, when the spring tide will occur during the full moon or new moon day, uh, how it occurs means when the sun, moon and the earth are aligned in the Yes, distinguish between um, this spring tide and neap tide. Yes, what do you mean by this spring tide? When the sun, moon and earth are aligned in the same line, the collectively gravitational pull of the sun and moon on earth's water strength to form a high tide known as spring tide. Such tides occur on full moon and new moon day. What do you know about this neap tide? When the sun and the moon are at right angle, their gravitational forces work against each other causing a low tide called neap tide. A neap tide occurs between two spring tide that is twice a month when the first and the last quarter moon appears. Okay. Next one. Do you know there is one box. The potential tidal energy zones of India are the Gulf of Combat, Gulf of Kutch and Sundarbans. Next one. Maritime borders. Where you can see this boundary or of most the countries is fixed to be 12 nautical miles from the baseline. This was from the baseline. This was fixed by the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea 2013. 2013 only who has introduced this UN. United Nations has introduced where uh, Jordan and Paul have 3 nautical miles as their maritime boundary and Benin, Republic of Congo, EA, Salvada, Peru and Somalia have 200 nautical miles. The uh, sea borders they have uh, measured. Next one, third one is the ocean current. That is also on question. Um, Roma number 4. Question number 4, Roman number 4, what are the factors that generate the ocean current? What are the factors that generate the ocean current? So, what do you know about this ocean current? 
the movement of oceanic water on the surface and at the depth in a definite direction is called ocean current. So students listen, what do you know about this ocean current? That is the movement of oceanic water on the surface and at the depth in a definite direction is called ocean current. Ocean current are in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. So, um, in which hemisphere it is clockwise means in the northern hemisphere and which is in the southern hemisphere it is anti-clockwise direction. So, ocean currents, what do you know about this ocean current? The movement of oceanic water on the surface and at the depth in a definite direction is called ocean current. Ocean current are in clockwise motion in the northern hemisphere and in the anti-clockwise motion in the southern hemisphere. So here uh, there are some factors that generate ocean current. What are the factors that generate ocean current? Are Earth's rotation, prevailing wind and difference in temperature and salinity of ocean water. So on the basis of temperature, ocean currents are classified as warm current and cold current. So the movement of ocean current from the high latitude towards low latitude is called cold current. Example, Labrador in Atlantic Ocean and Peruvian cold current in South Pacific Ocean. Okay, once again, we, you can recall this. On the basis of temperature, ocean currents are classified into two types. What are the two types according to the temperature? Warm current and cold current. What do you know about this uh, cold current? The movement of ocean current from the high latitude to low latitude is called cold current. The same the reverse of that only the high current, uh, that warm current. Okay, um, here do you know NIO, National Institute of Oceanography was established in 1st January 1966. Sometimes they may ask one question. When did this NIO has established? It has established in 1st January 1966. The headquarters of NIO is located at Dona Paul, that is in Goa. It conducts research and observations to understand oceanic features, ocean engineering, marine archaeology, etc. Okay, student, next one is the uh, marine resources. What do you know about this marine resources? This is also one of the important questions. Here, the biotic and abiotic resources found in the oceanic water and at the bottoms are called marine resources. The ocean's re resources play a vital role in sustaining the needs of society. A diverse array of marine organisms is used for food medicine, cosmetics and a wealth of industrial applications. The world demand for energy, minerals and water have become increasingly depend, dependent on non-living marine resources. What do you know about this marine resources? The biotic and abiotic resources are found in the oceanic water and at the bottoms are called marine resources. So here, uh, this ocean has played an important role in our society. From the ocean, we are getting different types of food, medicine, cosmetic and a wealth of industrial applications also. So which is the world demand for and it is one of the world demand for energy, minerals and water have been increasingly depend on non-living marine resources. Okay. Uh, next here on tabular column also where we are, can see this cold current and warm current also. Next major oceanic current, this red color line has indicated this warm current and this black color cold current. Okay. Next, uh, this choose the correct answer. First one. Um, they choose the correct answer. The Sunda trenches lies in dash. That is in India. Option C. Second one. 
the temperature of the ocean water generally dash at greater depths that is option b decreases third one ocean currents are produced due to dash all the above option d all the above next third one uh, sorry fourth one consider the following statement here one two three four they have given option c is the correct answer 2, 3 and 4 are correct. 2, 3 and 4 are correct. Next, question number 4. Sorry, question number 5. The oceanic ridge comes into existence due to dash. That is option B, divergence of tectonic plate. Option B, divergence of tectonic plate. Next, sixth one, which of the following indicates the correct sequence of the topography beneath the surface of the sea? Option A is the correct answer. Continental shell, continental slope, sea plane, sea trench. Fifth one, option A is the correct answer. Next, uh, see, seventh one, which of the following is not correctly matched? Here, option A and option C are the answer. K, Gulf Stream, Pacific Ocean. C, Canary Current, Mediterranean Sea. These two are not correctly matched. Next. Let's choose the correct answer. The Sunda Trench lies in the Dash Ocean. Option C, Indian. Second one, the temperature of the ocean water generally dash at greater depth. Option B, decreases. Third one, ocean currents are produced due to dash. Option D, all the above. Due to rotation of earth, due to variations in temperature, due to earth's movement. Next, fourth one, consider the following statement. Here four statement they have given that is um, option C is the correct answer. Most of the fishing ground occurs in areas where the continent shelf is wide. Fishing is well developed in warm tropical waters. Mixing of warm and cold current facilitate plant nutrition for fish. Inland fishing becomes significant in India. So, in your book, they have given that uh, fifth one, fourth one as five, number five, change that, okay. So, here correct answer is option C, two, three and four is correct. Two, three and four is correct. Next question, uh, fifth question, the oceanic rigid comes into existing due to option B, divergence of tectonic plate, okay. Next, sixth one, which of the following indicate the correct sequence of topography beneath the surface of the sea? That is option A, continental shelf, continental slope, sea plane, sea trench. Seventh question, which of the following is not correctly matched? That one's option A and option C are not correctly matched. Gulf Stream, Pacific Ocean, Canary Current, Mediterranean Sea. Next, eighth question, the amount of planktons to be found in the ocean is determined by dash, that is option B, B is the correct answer. 1, 2 and 3 are correct, depth of the water, ocean current, temperature and salinity. Okay. Next, Roman number 2, questions are of assertion. A. Reason R. Here, first A, B, C, D. Three answers they have given. Both A and R are correct and R explains A. Both A and R are correct but R does not explain A. A is correct but R is false. A is false but R is correct. These are the options they have given in the first. Okay, next only they have given the question. Uh, here, four questions are here. 
First one, assertion A. Oceans are always shown in blue in map. Reason or it indicate the natural color of the ocean. So for this, which is the correct answer? Above the question we have no A, B, C, D. That A is the correct answer. Okay. That means both A and R are correct and R explains A. Next second, question second. Assertions flat topped Z mounds are known as guards. The reason are all weird features are of volcanic origin. Here, uh, correct answer is option C. Option C, that is A is correct but R is false. Okay. Next third one, assertion, submarine canons are deep gorges on the ocean floor. Reason, they are mainly restricted to continental shelf slope and rims. Here correct answer is B, option B. That is both A and R are correct but R does not explain A. Fourth question, assertion, uh, atl atolls are more common in the Atlantic Ocean. Reason, the marine population at the depth is less. Here, correct answer is option D. A is false, but R is correct. Next, Roman number 3, match the following. Marine trench, deepest point in the Pacific. Which is the correct answer? Deepest point in the Pacific. Great barrier reef, that is Australia. Sargosa Sea, North Atlantic Ocean, spring tide on full and new moon days, heavy rains decreases salinity in the oceans, corrosive current along the coast of Japan, continental slope, second order landform. So answer is 5, 6, 1, 2, 7, 3, 4. Okay. Next one, Roman number 4, answer the following in brief. First question, what do you mean by the term hydrosphere? That is page number 192, page number 192. Uh, under the heading hydrosphere, what do you mean by the term hydrosphere? Page number 192, under the heading hydrosphere, second line. The earth is also called the blue planet as it holds water in abundance. Next, next line. Hydrosphere consists of water in various forms found on the earth. Okay, once again I am reading. Uh, first, what do you mean by the term hydrosphere? Before that, one sentence you want to write. Hydrosphere is the watery part of the earth. Okay, students, first point is hydrosphere is the watery part of the earth. Second point, the earth is also called the blue planet as it holds water in abundance. Third point, hydrosphere consists of water in various forms found on the earth. That's all. Okay, next second question. What is hydrological cycle? Page number 192. Under the heading, hydrological cycle. The earth's water is not static. It is always in motion. This continuous movement of water on above and below the earth's surface is called the hydrological cycle. Third question, mention the various relief features of ocean floor. Page number 193. Page number 193, under the heading relief of the ocean floor, the ocean basins are characterized by the following major relief features, that is continental shelf, continental slope, Continental rings, deep sea plane or axial plane, oceanic deep, oceanic rigid. Next, fourth question What are the factors that generate the ocean current? That is page number 196. 196. Page number 196. 
what are the factors that generate the ocean current under the heading ocean current the movement of oceanic water on the surface and at the depths in the definite direction is called ocean current ocean current are in clockwise motion in the northern hemisphere and in the anti clockwise motion in the southern hemisphere the factors that generate ocean currents are earth's rotation prevailing winds and difference in temperature and salinity of ocean water next fifth question write a brief notes on sea waves page number 195 196 page number 195 write a brief note on sea waves under the heading waves of all the movement of the ocean sea waves are considered to be the strongest sea waves are ripples on water caused when wind blow over the sea the height of these waves depends on the speed of wind its duration and the direction from which they blow sometimes waves are also caused by tremendous felt on the ocean floor such waves are quite destructive and called tsunami that is the uh, fifth question next roma number 5 first question give reason for the following first one the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere are called land and water hemisphere respectively page number 193 page number 193 under the heading oceans third line The northern hemisphere holds 61% of land, whereas the southern hemisphere holds 81% of water. It is because of this burden of land and water distribution. The northern hemisphere is called as the land hemisphere, and the southern hemisphere is called as the water hemisphere. That's all. Next second question: Continental shelf provide good fishing ground. Page number one ninety four. Page number one ninety four. Continental shell provide good fishing ground under the heading. Continent, uh, do you know? You see, did you see that in uh, the first point? Continental shell or shallower? You want to write about that first point. You want to write continental shell. okay next shallow or shallow continental shelf or shallow this enables sunlight to penetrate through the water this encourages abundant growth of grass seaweeds and plankton hence these zones becomes the richest fishing ground in the world example the grand banks of newfoundland that's all next roman number six cost distinguish the following first ones distinguish between spring tide and neap tide that is page number 196 under the heading tide second para and third para that is when the sun moon and earth are aligned in the same line the collective gravitational pull of the sun and moon on earth or water strengthens to form a high tide known as spring tide such tides always occurs on full moon and new moon's day When the sun and the moon are at right angles, their gravitational forces work against each other, causing a low tide called neap tide. A neap tide occurs between two spring tides, that is, twice a month, when the first and the last quarter moon appears. Second question: Abyssal plain. Distinguish between abyssal plain and ocean deep. Page number one ninety five. Page number one ninety five. under the heading deep sea plain or abyssal plain the the first line first para under the heading deep sea plains or abyssal plain the deep sea plains or abyssal plains are underwater plains found on the deep ocean floor next from that sixth line these plains are usually covered by the thick layer of sediment composed of clay silt and sand brought by the rivers next oceanic depth trenches are the deepest part of the oceans and occupy about 7% of the total relief of the ocean floor next second line as they are sediment free most trenches are v shaped with steep sides epicenters of the great earthquakes are all found in the trenches Once again, I am reading. Distinguish between abyssal plain and ocean deep. Under the heading abyssal plain, 
The deep sea plains or abyssal plains are underwater plains found on the deep ocean floor. Next, up to that, next to sixth line. These plains are usually covered by the thick layer of sediment composed of clay, slit and sand brought by the rivers. Next, under the heading oceanic deep, trenches are the deepest part of the oceans and occupy about 7% of the total relief of the ocean floor. Next, second line. As they are sediment free, most trenches are V-shaped with steep side. Epicenter of the great earthquakes are all found in the trenches. Up to that, Roman number 6, question number 2. Next, Roman number 7, write in a paragraph. First question, write a paragraph on the origin of ocean. That one, if you have guide, you want to study from the guide. Otherwise, I will read once. Listen, write a paragraph on the origin of the ocean. Uh, first point, the ocean is a continuous body of salt water that forms the major part of hydrosphere. Second point, Geoscientists believe that the oceans were formed on earth nearly 3 billion years ago. Third point, it is difficult to believe that in the beginning there was no water on our planet. Fourth point, in due course of time, when the earth started cooling, steam escaped from the interior and entered the atmosphere to form clouds. Fifth point, at first the clouds brought incessant rains. From sixth point, the rainwater filled the depressions for tens of thousands of years and eventually a super ocean was formed. Okay, once again I am reading here all together. Six points. First point, the ocean is a continuous body of salt water that forms the major part of hydrosphere. Second point, geoscientists believe that the oceans were formed on earth nearly 3 billion years ago. Third point, it is difficult to believe that in the beginning there was no water on our planet. Fourth point, in due course of time, when the earth started cooling, steam escaped from the interior and entered the atmosphere to form clouds. Fifth point, at first the clouds brought incessant rains, I-N-C-E-S-S-A-N-T, incessant rains, R-A-I-N-S. Sixth point, the rainwater filled the depressions for tens of thousands of years and eventually a super ocean was formed. Next, second question, write a note on continental shelf and continental slope. Page number 193 and 194. That one under the heading continental shelf. That para and um, up to um, Arabian Sea. Next, continental slope. That para full. Okay. Next, uh, third question. What do you mean by ocean current? Explain its types. That is page number 196. Page number 196. What do you mean by ocean current? Explain its types under the heading ocean current. That para full. Okay. The movement of ocean equator from that to up to north equatorial current in Pacific Ocean. Next fourth question. Explain the influence of the marine resource on mankind. That is page number 197. Under the heading marine resources that para full from the biotic and abiotic up to non-living marine resources. Okay students, so uh, study well, be thorough with this lesson also, mark the questions and uh, study thoroughly. Okay, thank you students.